Assalamu uh, alaikum, welcome back to a new video. Uh, in today's video, I want to discuss about the things that are happening in Kazakhstan. Uh, this summer holiday, I'll be staying in Kazakhstan. I'm not going back to India for a few reasons. One, there are no flights yet from Kazakhstan to India. Even, even Kazakhstan blocked all the flights coming into Kazakhstan. And uh, even India also, it's blocked. International flights are not opened yet. In Kazakhstan, uh, the flights started to work, but it's domestic. But uh, even domestic flights, you need to take a uh, coronavirus test, which is very expensive. And that test is only valid for seven days. Then you can travel within Kazakhstan in a flight. Uh, and second reason is my workplace asked me to stay here and not go back for the holidays. Because if I go to India, I have to be quarantined for 15 days. And when I come back to Kazakhstan, I'll be quarantined 15 days by Kazakhstan rules and an extra 10 days because I'm working in a school. So instead of spending my holidays in quarantine, for me, the better, best choice was to stay in Kazakhstan. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that's not an option for a lot of Indians staying in Kazakhstan, especially students. So when the virus started spreading in Kazakhstan, all the schools, universities and closed and also the dormitory or the hostels also closed. The kids. The, the kids uh, or the students didn't have space to stay uh, they couldn't rent apartments because uh, the apartments were closed and the local people were not happy to give apartment to foreigners because they were thinking the virus is coming from outside so there was no place to rent and the dormitory were closed and a lot of people a lot of students uh, were stranded and uh, even people who are working in Atarao those who, those who are working in a yearly contract when all the petroleum companies closed because a lot of people work in a remote area in a very close proximity so when this thing came they just closed the uh, let's say oil and gas industry uh, and so what happened was a lot of Indians got stuck there so a lot of students went to the embassy of India in Astana and Almaty and they organized uh, seven flights from uh, Kazakhstan to India I think three flights from Karaganda, two flights from Astana and two flights from Almaty. Even though Almaty and Astana is very popular, there are more flights in Karaganda because there were a lot of students there. Uh, so this is the first phase. The first phase had uh, seven flights from Kazakhstan to India. Around 3,500 people registered to be airlifted from Kazakhstan to India. But in the first phase with the seven flights, only 1,000 Indians left Kazakhstan. That's a good news. A uh, lot of things happened. People were stuck for around 60 days before they were airlifted from Kazakhstan because Kazakhstan is, is not, was not popular, was not the main uh, country for the Indian government to lift uh, the people. First was like US, UK, a lot of the Arab, Arab countries and took almost 60 to 90 days for the Indians to leave uh, Kazakhstan. Uh, students went to the embassy. They stayed there for some time. Even the embassy was closed, there was no provision to give them food because the chef left uh, the embassy because of the virus. It's all, all the embassies around the world are closed. So anyway, it's just a good deed by the embassy of India in Kazakhstan. Still, a lot of people are still waiting. Around 2,500 people are in the list to leave Kazakhstan. So if Indians are in the list to leave Kazakhstan and hopefully it will be done in the coming days. But in general, People are getting relaxed here. I see a lot of people wearing, not wearing masks. People are not getting stressed. They're walking around. Shopping malls are not empty anymore. So uh, at the current moment, today is June 1st, uh, 2020. And there are around 10,000 cases in Kazakhstan in whole. So I guess it's going down. There's two more months before my work starts. By that time, I hope the virus goes away and everything comes to normal. Uh, I hope this. I hope you got a lot of interesting information from this video. Please subscribe. See you soon. Goodbye.